feeding hummingbirds with quarreling in the garden? Well, this could be the answer. Why, hello everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and I've had a lot of questions on hummingbirds fighting. And I know we all have that, especially when you have your feeders out in the garden, because they look at a hummingbird feeder, like the one that's here, and to them, it's a plant, it's a flower, and especially those little rufous, they are going to protect that flower. It belongs to them. Remember, they're tiny and they depend on food. They depend on a lot of food. And so they are feisty little critters. Well, I've got a method that I have used and I'm gonna share with you today on how you may be able to stop some of that arguing and fighting over food. But think of horses. What do they do with horses when they used to have the carriages going down the street. What did they put on the horses? They put blinders on there. The reason they had blinders, which was those flaps by the eyes, is so some of the horses wouldn't be distracted or upset or scared by things on the side that they couldn't really turn and see. So by put putting on blinders, they, that's what they called it, those flaps around the side of a horse's face on, on their bridle, that helped the horses go straight, concentrate, and not be spooked by things on the side. Well, look at this feeder real quick. See this feeder? I've got a little ant guard on top. Well, this feeder's open. So I've got a hummingbird. I hear him behind me screaming. He can sit in any one of those trees. And he's behind me in this tree. And he can sit there and he can scream and yell at me all he wants, but he can keep an eye on that feeder which belongs to him. So anybody that comes around, he sees them fly out of that tree, he comes down and he chases them off. Well, what if you put blinders on some of your hummingbird feeders? If you put a blinder on there, he's only gonna be able to see some. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And there's multiple ways of doing this. I've done it with flower pots and everything. Here is a blinder I made. I used a tote. Look at that. That is a tote lid. Now, let's hang a hummingbird feeder off of this. Just so you'll get the idea of what's going on. So let's say I hang the hummingbird feeder and I will show you exactly how I made this off of that. Now, yes, it's out in the open. He can see. But what is he going to see? Okay, we see no hummingbird on that feeder, correct? Where's the hummingbird feeder? Can you see what's on the hummingbird feeder? You can't see from here. Let's walk around the other side of my chair garden. Can you see from here? You can't see. You can't see anything. You can't see anything what's on that feeder, even here. Even on the other side, you can't see. Now, is that gonna stop quarreling completely? No, but here is the thing. If he's sitting up here watching his feeder, he's not gonna know if somebody came from over there and flew up there and got a drink. He may keep an eye on it and he may go around the trees, but he's gonna have to move around too much to keep an eye on that feeder. So now what I've done is created another feeding station that they can't see. Even if he's keeping an eye on it, it's going to take him time to go from all these different trees to the position to keep an eye on the feeder on this side. So he may not know, and this gives plenty of time for another hummingbird to come up from these trees, zip up through here, come here and drink. You'll have plenty of hummingbirds now hanging around because there's only so much he can do. Even if he's chasing somebody off, you're going to have plenty of other birds. Now, yes, you know, come to drink. Yes, you may have one perch here, but who's to say you can't put another hummingbird feeder on the other side? Now, with this particular one, I had an old broken flagpole, didn't have the bottom anymore, and I just zip tied it on. This is a tote lid, and this is a good thing you can use with a tote lid. I put a simple storage container lid on a tomato steak. You can use any pole you want any length you want. And I used my soldering iron and I made holes. I put the hole here on the bottom so now I can't move around. I did not put a hole on the top because this is what's stopping it, see? 
So it just sits there. And then it's well zip tied, three. At least use three. I always use three when I put zip ties on. You can use more, absolutely. But if you use three, if one pops, it still has two supports. So think odd numbers and think three on this. Because if you use two and one of your zip ties broke, it would fall over. But use three, four, you could use four at that point, five, six. You want to use it more than two. So always go with three instead of two. Then I went ahead and I zip tied on this old flagpole. Just put one there. I put another one here and another one here. And then what I did over here was I took two zip ties and I twined them around a couple times and I put the zip tie here. This is just so my hummingbird feeder won't go anywhere. I could put the hummingbird feeder here if I want. It won't go this far. But if I didn't do that to the flagpole, it could just by rocking slide all the way down. So now I know my hummingbird feeder is going to stay there. But that's all you need to do. That's how easy it is. I use the tote lid because as you know, I have tons of tote lids. And that, by the way, also can be put in there to shade your plants. So you could use that too. If the sun is coming and you want to shade something, you could put tote lids onto stakes and give your plant some shade. But with this, I've created what they call in the horse world, a blinder. And now I can have that feeder there. And even if he's feeding from this feeder, he's feeding here. He will not know that there's another hummingbird feeding there. And you can put multitudes of these around your yard if you've got a lot of feeders, especially if you've got them further apart than just six feet like I did. You, I could have one in the truck bed. I can put one over there. I could be feeding tons of hummingbirds by just putting some blinders up. You can use a flower pot if you want to cut it. I have used a flower pot and put flower pots on stakes and then zip tied those on and that works too. But let me tell you, if you're doing container gardening and you've got lids, you can use lid. Now, in a, you know, the lids are great for that. It's weatherproof too. Worst comes to worst, you could use cardboard, but it's not gonna last. You and I both know it's not gonna last. But you could use cardboard temporarily and it would do the same thing. So by putting blinders in your garden for your hummingbirds, it can cut down on the competition as far as fighting. Here, nobody knows who's here when they're feeding over there. And like I said, you can make it all in one. You could use a coat hanger. You can use any hook you want and attach it, even wire. But then if you wanna make it separate, look at this. You could have it separate where you've got a hummingbird feeder set up. And I used something from the dollar store, simply attached with zip ties to a tomato steak. And while this one's feeding, they won't even know that there's a secret little feeder on the other side. And nobody will know what's going on on either side. Hope I've given you some ideas on keeping peace in the garden. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.